the usual kind of stuff, you know. Uh, actually, what I'm really doing is just trying to get a little bit more content on my YouTube channel. Mm. But what I want to talk about today, well, this this is not it. This is uh, my Squire Strat I redid. I like this one. I love this little lamp. Can you guess what it is? Well, it's probably in the description. It is the Orange Micro Terror. And I love this thing. I've had it a year. And it goes on the road with me. It, it's not my main rig. It's not what I use. But it goes in my briefcase. Backup plan. I have actually used this amp. I was in, uh, well, outside of New Orleans, Louisiana, a place called Bell Rose, um, just a couple months ago. We were opening for Quiet Riot, and trailer pulls up, and my amp rack is not on the trailer, because I'm a dumbass, and it was still in my car. So I opened for Quiet Riot using this little amp, and... Sounded great. It's my backup plan. Um, it has saved my butt more than a few times. It has uh, actually saved the butts of people opening for us a few times. I've had people's amp go down like, here brother, try this. Now, it is not the be all, do all, greatest tone amp in the world. It is not that. But it's $150, and it sounds just fine. It's, you know, it's, it's not awesome, but... You know, that's the game cranked up quite a bit. You know, it's got a, a little 12AX7 in it that... It really doesn't warm it up that much. It, it's still a little on the brittle side. But it ain't bad. And for the money, $150, American. I love the thing. Um, Great living room amp. Sounds good with some pedals. Gets pretty good clean tones. So dial back the gain a little bit. Straight up the middle there. I'm telling you, this is just, you know, a lot of people aren't really crazy about this amp. Think of it as a toy, and this big, it is a toy. But it's a whole lot better than them little 9 volt powered things. And like I said, it's been invaluable to me. Um, it takes pedals really well. Um, I believe, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I do, I think I've got some actual footage of me playing through it live that I'll put in here. Yeah, it's that amp. It's that right here. So, this amp right here. It would be really cool if I could put the right in the right place. You get better than my video card. Anyway, it's uh, very simple. You've got volume knob, tone knob, and yeah. It's got a headphone out, and it's got an auxiliary in that goes straight to the power section for like MP3 player. Um, I've even like plugged a modeler like a, a pod into that and used it for 
you know, the casual things. Um, it's plenty loud. Um, I've had it about a year. Um, I got, my girlfriend got it for me. She gets me off good shit. Thank you, Netta. Um, but as soon as I got it, um, I took it to a New Year's Eve party um, with some friends of mine, and there were two other guitar players, and I took that and this guitar before I tricked it out, and kept with, up with a drummer, bass player, and two guitar players with little orange micro tear. So I guess all I'm really saying on this is it's definitely something that's worth having for 150 bucks. Portability, the fact that you can have it in your gig bag for when the unexpected happens. Check it out. Orange Micro Terror. Was that a good enough one? Did I, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Take it easy, man. You know how we do.